everybody. Yeah, guess what? This girl is on her way to a camp host job. I know. Not a nomadic life at all. They're really pretty bummed. But the fact is, is with everything that's going wrong with the RV, I can't afford to be out moondocking. Just over the last two weeks, the new house battery that I put in uh, the night I left town two months ago is now dead. So the electrical, uh, they messed it up pretty good. Uh, I would have to buy a battery about every two months. And as we know, <laughs> those deep cells are very expensive. So with that being said, um, as bad as it hurts, get over here. As bad as it hurts, um, I did receive two job offers. So if anybody out there is looking for a camp worker job, there are plenty. Just go to campworker.com and put in your applications. I got two jobs in one day, and they're across the street from each other, and they're RV resorts. Uh, the job lasts through April 1st, and I sit in a booth, and a security booth, and let traffic in. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, hurt me. Uh, I only have to work 16 hours a week. Uh, that's a perfect job for someone who's disabled, because I am physically disabled. Uh, I, I know that y'all don't know it, you don't see it. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't see it, but that's the facts. Um, so right now, <laughs> I'm kind of taking my life in my hands again, uh, driving this way out to a place called, oh, I guess I should tell you where I'm at. Yeah, I heard that rule. But anyhow, I'm 35, I have to travel 35 more miles uh, than I did just to get down to the city that I'm in. I'm in Phoenix. And a place I grew up, and uh, it's crazy here. <laughs> Traffic is crazy, man. Uh, but the fact is, is that uh, for right now, nomadic life is uh, kind of off the table. Will I stop making videos? Hell no. <laughs> you all know me. I'll be telling you about my life there. You know. Uh, but the sad part is that when I bought this RV, I trusted the people I bought it from. As a matter of fact, they are owner carries. So you'd think that they would have been a little more uh, forthright <laughs> about the issues with this RV. Um, I have put so much money in it already, not including, not including the $465 a month payments I make on her every month. So I did, I did secure another RV, uh, way old though, it was a 1982, uh, class A, 34 feet. All y'all know that I, it has taken me forever to learn how to drive my 30 foot RV. And to me, this is a monster. I mean, you know, I feel like I'm driving a school bus. <laughs> but the cool part is I'll be able to get old, uh, Lucy Lou off the back and be able to drive my scooter again. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I'm a little sad. Um, it's not the end of my nomadic life. Um, I intend to have my RV up and ready uh, to go by no, uh, April 1st uh, with tons of solar. I don't know that I'll be making. I'm going to bypass the battery if I can altogether because I have an, I have an extra generator that I use because they messed up the onboard generator. They messed up the onboard inverter. So I'm going to work at connecting all of my solar uh, to the house. I'm going, to, I'm going to hook everything up to my solar if possible. Now I know it's possible because I've seen people uh, have everything in their house on solar. Uh, the refrigerator is the only thing that bothers me because when I am not connected right now to uh, shore power, uh, 
my, my refrigerator don't even work on, uh, I'm going to be happy to get over here. Uh, my refrigerator won't even work on propane because it's an electric uh, start. I hope this is the right lane. I haven't been here forever. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so anyhow, um, I am in Arizona. My camp job is in Arizona. I would have liked it to have been closer to Ehrenberg. Uh, I am closer to Ehrenberg than Phoenix, but not as close as I wanted to be. Um, but I do, like I was saying, I do intend on making everything in my house solar. And I will have the money to do that. The camp job, my, my space rent, my um, electric, sewer, water, trash, Wi-Fi, laundry, for 16 hours a week is paid for. And it's a resort. It's not a... Uh, a uh, traffic's crazy man and it's like 10 o'clock here um, it's it's not like an RV park you know it's an RV resort uh, these these places rent for 800 a month I know right <laughs> not <laughs> not <laughs> uh, so anyway I, I I'm I'm not gonna stay on long today but I want you all to be safe I know that there are riots planned for tomorrow and if you're smart you will take all your money out of the bank because uh, I just you know like the government to shut down our banking accounts with that being said uh, you're all in my prayers and my thoughts stay out of the big cities uh, this this uh, little group of terrorists um, have uh, actually advertised where they're attacking and uh, they're talking about killing and it's really a frightening time for the United States and one of the big reasons that I became a nomad and just saying I didn't want to be in the middle of the crazy and now I'm in the middle of the crazy <laughs> oh lord how sad right so anyway you guys are in my thoughts. You're in my prayers. Keep me in your prayers because not only do I have to go uh, all the way out here today and all the way back to where I was hooked up at my friend's house, but then I got to go all the way back out uh, to start my job. Uh, <clears throat> so that's probably an extra, I don't know, 150 miles on my rig on a tire that I don't know if it's going to, a wheel that I don't know if it's going to fall off. Uh, that's just fright it frightens me to death um, I did make it down from Cottonwood uh, what the hell's going on up here uh, yeah my biggest fear is somebody hitting me hit my rig uh, I did make it down from uh, Cottonwood uh, safely <laughs> but I have to say I, I went at night because I heard that if you do have a bad ball joint uh, if it gets really hot, it's when it can fall off. So I traveled at night. I uh, at one point it was it was uh, stopped traffic for like an hour. We crawled along at five miles an hour um, due to them redoing I-17, uh, which cooled down my wheels. <laughs> I had no problem going down I-17 in my rig. Do not be afraid to do I-17 in your rig and burn out your brakes it's not going to happen unless you ride those puppies all the way down and if you know how to use your engine brake uh, you'll be just fine I was so frightened and after having to come down uh, Jerome Mountain I can tell you now uh, if you look that up that's a pretty scary mountain so anyway my loved ones I will be heading on I gotta, get up, yep, yep. <laughs> I gotta watch these three signs you're in my thoughts, you're in my prayers, you're in my heart, and I want you to remember to love yourself, because if you don't love you, ain't nobody going to love you. Loving yourself is the key to finding happiness, and only you can give you happiness. So don't go away, don't stop coming, remember to subscribe, like and share, you guys are in my hearts and my prayers, and uh, Damn. Yeah.
I really love being a nomad. Maybe this is just a part of it. Bye-bye.